guys. Yeah, so in this week's top six, I checked out some of the prettiest little patios for date night, maybe even some brunch. We found a great brunch deal here that you have to kind of wait and see where that is. And also, this is Karen approved. She said it's going to be great out. So take a look. The weather is getting better, and there's nothing I like more than dining al fresco to enjoy it. So grab your favorite shades and bring your appetite. Oh my God, the brown butter. We're heading outside to some of the best outdoor dining spots around. Nothing go to waste. In Center City West is Harper's Garden, a cocktail bar and restaurant with locally sourced ingredients and a seasonally rotating menu. The breeze off of 18th Street on their huge outdoor patio was the perfect setup for sipping cocktails made with herbs and fresh squeezed juices. No shirt, no shoes. And there's the tequila, strawberry, and Aperol based no shirt, no shoes. And the pink peppercorn infused vodka cocktail called the Secret Garden with fresh sage. For like a split second, I was like, oh my God, a leaf blew in here. But it, like, it was supposed to be there. Next up, some fare that I didn't feel one bit guilty about. There's garden in the name. The crunchy, vegetable-filled spring gem salad, crispy pan-seared snapper sautéed in brown butter. You have me a brown butter, really. <laughs> and vegan and vegetarian options like the country-fried portobello mushroom. And my favorite, the handmade veggie burger with cooper cheese, long hot mustard, and pickles made right in-house. I love long hots, fun fact. Oh. A seat at Park in Rittenhouse Square is easily one of the most sought after reservations in Philadelphia. With its French bistro feel and cozy street side tables giving views of the bustling square, it's the perfect space for brunch or dinner. In the popular neighborhood of Spring Garden Street sits Juno, a modern Mexican restaurant with some added Philly flair. So do people eat burritos with forks and knives? The mole chicken burrito was too big to pick up. Holy mole. <laughs> and the crispy mm. carnitas were too good to put down. Crunchy, crunchy. All right. I was mind blown to learn An that omelet? they do brunch. Wait, you guys do brunch? Behold, the like omelet ranchero with grilled steak, roasted peppers, I cheese sauce, like avocado, it. and cilantro crema. And what Mexican restaurant would be complete without some tequila cocktails? Like this classic blood orange margarita and the watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar. It's then the they blew my mind again. You do bottomless tacos, margaritas, and nachos for brunch for $29. Jessica Boynton, bottomless? Does everybody have to get carried out of here? Channel 6 Action News. Oh, that is the deal of a century!